guys, it's Kelly. I am back with a quick process video. This is a Traveler's Notebook spread I am doing for Citrus Twist Kits, and I am using their April kit, and yes, it is April 30th, and I am just getting this up in time. I have been crazy busy with life, and you know, you just do the best that you can, and uh, I'm just grateful to have a little bit of downtime today to where I can get this up for you. So I am using all sorts of kits. I think I've got the... Project Life and main kit for this, um, but primarily the Project Life. And I am using these gorgeous cut files. They were designed by Natalie and they are available in the shop, I do believe. Um, the shop has been revamped. It is looking gorgeous and I'm, I'm not quite sure yet if these are up or not, but they are available or will be at some point. So I am just going to back the cut files and the photo that I am going to be using is one of my daughter and I will most likely scrapbook this again. It is hysterical. We uh, went to a college softball game and on the way back we stopped at this, uh, it's a local sandwich shop that is in a, like a gas station and you would think, ugh. You know, that's not exactly the best place. This place had killer sandwiches. Like, I would totally blow any semblance of a diet because they are that good. But anyway, out of the corner of my eye, I see some, like, rustling. And I look up, and there's Emily with this, uh, you know, Lay's chip bag up at her face. And I almost peed in my pants. I was laughing so hard. And, you know, that's just not a good thing. <laughs> but it was a good thing. You know, it was one of those moments I needed to have... Um, a good laugh, and she is definitely uh, one to provide some entertainment. So I wanted to, you know, make this quick uh, little spread, and I am going to most likely make another scrapbook page. You will probably see this again. So I'm going to come back with three of these pinwheels. I was going to do two and just trim them off uh, and, you know, make them work around the page, but I was having fun, and... That was kind of creative for me, and I wanted to just play, and yeah, so I did all three. I'm going to back the photo in that Project Life card. I like that uh, blue around the photo. Because it's black and white, I felt like it needed a pop of color. And I'm just going to be playing with paper layers. So to give you a couple little life updates, um, Got really good news. My class at Big Picture just went live today, and I am super excited about that. Um, I finished that in February, so it feels like it's been a while, um, you know, that I've been done with it. And thankfully, the timing was such that I finished with it, and then my mom really needed me. Needed me, so uh, there was definitely some good timing involved with that. And the, you know, okay news. I have moved my mom into a senior living facility. It just was too much and she was not exactly safe. She was thinking that people were coming into the house when they weren't and not safe to leave alone. And, you know, we looked into bringing her into my home, but it was almost $200,000 to add on a first floor master and bathroom because of all of the stuff that needed to be done and then when we looked into moving and buying a home it would have priced us almost 250 to 300,000 more because it's of the market that the area that we live in is and uh, we just couldn't afford that kind of home and you know then we also thought about the fact that you know Emily still has a couple of years left at home. I'm busy with her, and I'm not just going to be able, and I'm still working uh, part-time, and I just am not going to be able to provide some of the needs that she has just here. And it was a really hard decision, but looking back at it, it definitely is one that, you know, was right for her, but that doesn't mean that it was an easy decision you know, she's still struggling with some things. I, the place is about 30 minutes away. We are on a waiting list to get to the same facility that's closer. It's just full. Um, so I see her about five days out of the week. And, 
you know, one hour is travel time. So that's a lot where my time is. And right now I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't have it any other way because, you know, if something happens to her, I know that I did what was needed and what she needed and I can live with myself. So that's just a, you know, a quick life update. She's doing okay. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm struggling. My house is a disaster. Um, I've got laundry in right now. I'm trying to catch up with things today. You know, uh, Emily's got four softball games this week, so I'm trying to get ahead of things. You know, I'm working on National Scrapbook Day project, and uh, yeah, but basically my life is being held together very finely <laughs> right now. And, you know, I think that's kind of what life is. You know, some days we have it together, and some days we're hanging on uh, by a couple threads, so... Anyway, I'm just letting you know because I know that other people are in similar situations or are in overwhelming situations. And just so you know, you're not alone. There's other people struggling and take time for yourself when you can. Right now, that's not much for me, but every little bit I am taking and I'm not worrying about the house, okay? You know, if you come over to my house and can't appreciate the fact that, you know, I'm about killing myself you know, trying to make sure everybody's needs are met, then you're not my friend. So anyway, that's the way I'm looking at it. So the rest of the things that I did on this little spread are pretty self-explanatory. That Hey Girl, how cute is that? I thought that was perfect for this photo. I also liked that Dear Lizzie Stay Magical, but it was going to get cut in a weird spot. And I really liked that black, um, font and the pop of black that I felt like was really needed on this spread. So this is a leather sticker by Citrus Twist and it says So You and it definitely is So Emily and I'm going to put that there and the only thing that I'm going to add off uh, camera is the little journaling. It says Life with You is Never Dull and I did forget to uh, stamp the date so I've got to go back and stamp the date. And in the close-ups, you will see that the, I guess when I measured, I measured wrong. So it was a happy accident because I added a strip of pattern paper to both sides of the paper. And I thought it really added um, another pop of contrast that was needed. And I did take my pen and I had some squiggly lines. So I apologize for that not being on video, but it's one of those things where I can, I, you know, figured something was wrong and I was able to quickly fix it without getting out my camera. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for all your comments and your support. They really mean a lot and I will hopefully have another video for you up soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.